Holy crap. That is unbelievable. That's got a lot of torque. It, it's a lot of lot different torque than the 131 stroker. A lot different. Strength is much like strength, but more. Strength. I'm gonna copyright that. Strength. We're coming to you live from channel 77 here with another beast from Moonshine for Ashley Holgate. So now Holgate, I think you've probably seen a collage. If not, you'll see one very soon of the engine being taken apart. He previously did a 131 with us and that dyno chart is right here. He decided it's not enough because it's never enough. It's never enough. So we're gonna do a 135 and I'm here with my main man, Jordan. I thought you weren't gonna wear the wig anymore. <laughs> so we've got the uh, case in. Now this has been bored out because the cylinders are actually bigger than stock, which is why it's a 135. I'm surprised you didn't know that. We'll take these off in just a second and show you, but uh, we've got the case together. The flywheel is in with the Carrillo rods. It's just a whole lot of sexy right here. So if you get down in yaw, down in yaw, yaw, as you can see, we drill the case down farther than stock. See how this drill mark goes right down here, right above the uh, spigot, the uh, oil squirter. The cylinder actually kind of hugs around that, and I'll show you that in a minute when we get into the cylinders themselves. But the purpose for that is the cylinder wall goes down so, uh, enough that the skirt does not exit the wall, which makes the piston extremely stable inside the cylinder for longevity and strength. With great power comes great natural abilities. Oh, hey, bud. Hello. So Jordan's filing these rings, because that's what we do. So here's a stock piston versus one of our 135 pistons. The only word to describe it is robust. <laughs> So you can see that they're double coated. The coated on the wall and on the top to help keep the heat down. So you got camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Our pistons are made by CP Carrillo to our specifications. Very nice, very nice. Now if you look at these cylinders, I was mentioning earlier in the video, the cutout for the oil spigot because it actually goes down below the squirter. So the squirter is sitting inside this pocket. And if you look at the size of the, the, the insert on the 135 versus stock or the one, you know, the 128, 131, this keeps the entire base of the piston enclosed. So as this piston is coming down, it's actually going to protrude from the cylinder about this far. So when it comes down on the stroke and goes back up, the bottom comes slightly out and then it goes back up to the top and then it comes down and comes slightly out. Well, when it, when it comes out, you can see that the, it's right where the pin is. That's where a lot of your force is because that's the, that's the bottom of the circle. So the, the, fly, the, the connecting rods coming this way and then coming down and coming up and coming down and right when it goes to that bottom part, it's shifting direction and pushing it back up. So we designed these cylinders with just that extra length that takes that up so the piston never comes below the bottom. It comes to about right, y'all. Yeah. Because you're gonna wanna look that this is basically the height of the stock cylinder. This is a little bit, a cut a little bit deeper, but so the piston sits in here, which makes it much more stable, especially at high RPMs under heavy loads. You know, when, when the piston goes up, squeezes and fires, that's pushing down on top of it. You know, like if you, it's almost like if you, with your hand, 
that's basically what the pressure does. So the pressure is going to push, and then when this goes down and rocks, it's going to push it back up and push all the ex exhaust gas out. So that pushing force and the rocking force that the piston is doing through the bore is minimized with this sort of a design. Um, they're also extremely thick sleeves, so they're very, very straight. They're very heat resistant. So I, um, I brought this down last year, had the 131 stroker put in it. It had a lot of power, um, but I, I guess let's, um, let's back up a little bit. I, I had a lot of other things done to it. Uh, the Krause handlebars uh, were a spectacular addition to the street glide. Uh, it's completely different than, this, than the road glide setup. Last year, I had this uh, brought down to store for this year, and uh, Mike kind of talked me into a 135 upgrade. Thanks, Mike. And um, It was hard. It's like, hey, you want a little bit more power? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, we're going to have the bike for a few months. <laughs> we might as well do it. Let's do it. So uh, this is the first test ride of the 135. I'm hoping that uh, it beats the heck out of Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. I'm excited. Uh, Moonshine does excellent work. They've treated me uh, very, very well through anything that I've done, any phone calls I've made. Um, it's been really good and I appreciate all the stuff that Moonshine's done for me. Uh, Mike and Jamie and Aaron and all the guys in the back of the shop that, uh, that Mike uh, leads. It's just been great. And Jordan for working on it because uh, he did the last build and he does this build too. Jordan's too emotional, he couldn't come out. Uh, I'm sorry. That is unbelievable. That's got a lot of torque. It, it's a lot of lot different torque than the 131 stroker. A lot different. I just came around the corner, up around here, and I just pinned it a little bit and stepped right out. The, the 131 See, never did that. Once it delivered, there'll be a chance. That's, that's a, an amazing up. amount of power. That was. <laughs> Wait to get on the back of this. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. I'm very happy. That'll be uh, some appreciation back to, uh, to Moonshine of what they've done for me and uh, for us. It's been, it's been awesome. You're already back? Well, I just uh, What do you think? That, that's, that torque is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's right there. It sounds a lot different too. The tone is different. Yeah. Um, more pressure. Yeah, more pressure. It gives a different tone and I like it now. It, it's not as, doesn't seem to be as obnoxious. Maybe I'm just hearing it again in after year, but <laughs> it sounds just great. Just used to it all over again. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm it's happy, great, but... isn't it? That's, that, that, that's my favorite build, the 135 with a 588 cam, because, you know, you might not have the most horsepower in the United States, but it doesn't matter. It, you've got it's so much rideable. power all over the place. With yeah. 161 foot-pounds of torque and 167 horsepower, I mean, come on. And you can, you can feel how much smoother it is. The 135 is it's so gentle. It is a gentle giant. Yeah, is what it is. Um, I just I rode it uh, slowly uh, on the on the aisle way down before I took the right, and it would just smooth as glass all the way down. It was wonderful. Um, really happy. Jesus, I can't wait to ride this tomorrow. Woo! Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. And the uh, the dash piece came out wonderful. Yeah, didn't it? Was it? Awesome. Really nice. There's no beautiful. Matches up perfect. Yeah, and that paint is on back order, so it's unobtainium. Yep. And my painter said, man, I, I think I can mix it close enough you can't tell, and you can't tell. Yeah. You, you did a great job. Yeah. All, all the vendors you got working with, you just do a great job. It's, it's perfect. Um, it's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate cool. it. Wow.